Welcome back. And now she's the brilliant actress who became a household name playing Barbara in the TV series The Good Life. Love those pictures. I know. Uh, for her latest project, Felicity Kendall is back in the West End. She stars in the latest production of hit comedy Noises Off. And ahead of the show's opening night, Felicity is joining us in the studio. And welcome to you. And this must be a be very, here. very busy I'm, I'm time. I'm a lucky girl. <laughs> um, it, this is quite a special one, actually, because it's the 40th anniversary production of this one, isn't it? And it's a very funny play. It is, of course, the, the iconic uh, Noises Off. Um, not many written like this one. I think it's, the, it's, it's a scientific genius at work, yeah. really, because it's not just a play, it's a sort of mathematical um, complication, if you like, of two or three things going on at the same time. And it's, it, it's a, there's nothing quite like it. Yeah. I studied this nothing for A-Level. Like it. It studied yeah. A-Level and, was, and went, was able to go and see it. This is sort of early 90s, somewhere around the sort of production of it, and was blown away. Uh, Can you just explain what you mean? Because you're absolutely right. It's like a scientific it, masterpiece. It, it is. It? It, and the actors that do it have, have all say, this was the most difficult thing, more or less the most difficult play I've ever done. Basically, it's, it's a play that is on, on, in, on tour in England, um, and you see it in the starting to open, but failing actually to get it right. It's, everything's gone wrong before they open. And then they, you see them on tour. Then you see the backstage and the front simultaneously mm. of how things are going wrong in one way and things are going even, even more <laughs> disastrously wrong <laughs> backstage. And it's to get it all going at the same time, so you're doing the play and then the, the, the what's going on backstage is it's possible, but it's <laughs> so hard. Yeah. You're cleaning on my fingernails. And, and, and it's also just wonderfully funny. It really yeah. is, because it's like, it doesn't have to be actors and people working. It's when everything, when the camera falls off mm. and then somebody faints, but they're actually just in love. And then you forget your lines. Mm. And then, you know, the wall falls down. And you keep trying to keep the show going. And I think it, 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 it's just an experience that everyone can relate to. It's mm. disaster in the, in, the, in the face of trying yeah. desperately hard to keep it together. And just to keep going. Yeah. Um, so you play Dottie. Yeah. So she is a television actress. She's kind of billed as the, the star of this show. She's the star. It's, and, yes, go on. And she's also co-producing it as well. Yes, so yes. <laughs> there's a lot riding on this. It's not riding on this. They're not a very successful... Um, company. Company. To, and they're not very, very successful actors. They're all <laughs> slightly on the skids. <laughs> And she was a television, the lollipop lady, you know, in a long uh -huh. series. So that, it's what used to happen in the olden days. People used to go from television and tour England just to try and um, keep going. So the interesting challenge there is, as you say, the actors in the play that are putting on the play aren't particularly good, so you're trying to act being bad actors. Well, no, that, they're not bad actors, they're just not successful actors, ah, if that makes sense. Yes. So they, though they, she is co-producing it, probably, and, put, and she's the leading lady. She's way beyond older than she should be playing the part anyway. Right. Um, but the, they're not bad actors as such, so it's not taking the mickey of the actors, it's taking taking the sort of the sadness and the but the joy of people trying to do their best yeah and and they do their best so hopefully when it works and they did the last time we did it <laughs> you do believe in the people and they are really really trying their best and they're they're not bad actors well you're, you're it's just a terrible terrible play <laughs> <laughs> you're returning. I mean, to this really one. bad. <laughs> so, what did you do with it? <laughs> well, you're you're returning to it, and there's some new faces that are coming through. Tamsin yeah. Althwaite, yeah. you've got um, uh, Matthew Horn, and lots of. I mean, it's a brilliant yeah. cast. Yeah. Um, so, for them, they're kind of. I mean, Tams, I think you know she's just come into it. You lot and sort of know what you're doing. They've had two weeks, and we had. It's it's actually almost like a joke on the joke on the play because this play isn't ready when it opens, <laughs> and mm -hmm. th they have come in new new crew new new actors, and they have in two weeks managed to do which we barely managed in four. Mm -hmm. So it's they, they are actually brilliant. Yeah, what well, they're doing. It. I can't it, wait to for them to get in front of an audience and see how going. brilliant yeah. they are. We showed a little still from The Good Life when we did your introduction, which always makes my heart sing, because I, I still sit every now and again and it pops up. And it's such a wonderful, wonderful series and it has such amazing memories for me as a, watching it as a kid. I wonder how you feel, because it's 50 years. Mr. Is it really? It years. doesn't feel like 10. No. Um, I, whenever I watch it, I think, my goodness, that was... 
really good. It was. <laughs> it, it was, was. really good. It, the writing was amazing. Oh. We all were in love with each other in the nicest possible way. We laughed all the time. Mm. And the producer-director was just, uh, you know, just the, the, the creator mm. of it, if you like, and with great writers. It was just so warm, I think, that's what you it loved was. about watching it. Was. You just watched and it, it just yeah. felt... You know, yeah. Everybody just yeah. felt good about themselves. Yeah. The chemistry as well between yeah. the four of you was so it was, special. It was funny, because all not funny, but all four of us were actually theatre theatre trained, rep trained to start with. So we all worked in exactly the same mm. way together. And I think that was a little bit to do with the ability to quickly put a comedy thing together. I mean, like a lot of comedy teams, they write and direct and they're, they're already a, a team before they get in front of the camera. And we created that, it was wonderful. And so, but, but having done so much theatre, then to be doing something like that on, on camera as such, without an audience, so you don't hear the laughs. I mean, you know they're there, but you're not hearing them. Do you have to sort of adjust but to we that? We did it live. Well, it wasn't live, but we did it in front of an audience. Yeah, so you, could, so you got yes. it, so it felt like a similar but thing. the writing was so good, you sort of knew where the laughs were anyway, because yeah. that's why you really want to be with did you... good writers, not writers that like the one that we play in the play. Did you get inspired <laughs> to keep an allotment or animals. <laughs> I always watch that thinking, because the two of you were so into it, and it was like, you know, my, I, my wife is a garden designer now, but she, the one, most important things for her is her vegetables that she grows, and she always and thinks about the good life when she's growing her vegetables. She likes to dress like Margot, but she likes to grow veg like you did. <laughs> I, had, I, I, yeah. I had, I didn't have an allotment, I had a, I lived in an island um, on the Thames, which was like on two sticks with one room. And, and geese at the bottom of the swans at the bottom of the garden going by the, on the Thames. And we did actually, because we were so poverty stricken and we had no money at all, and I was on the dole half the time, we did actually grow corn and lettuce and things like that. So I've already done all that. So you're into that. Yeah. The good life. And there's nothing like it, you know, no. growing your own stuff. Produce, yeah. And then one of my cousins started, actually did a exactly like, she went to Wales and Really? Water. Yeah, cows and sheep in the in the kitchen. Oh, that sounds so <laughs> lovely. Um, we should. She doesn't say, do it now, though. No. Funnily enough, <laughs> we should say happy birthday as well. Oh, thank it's you. It's your birthday today. I know. I know. Happy it's a, it's it's a really nice thing actually to be here, and then to be going into the theatre. What a. I mean, what a success. <laughs> well, we hope you get a glass of fizz at some point. Yeah. Later yeah. today, I will, yeah. yes. Well, your celebration, today, please. It's lovely yeah. to see you. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Thank, thank you very you. much. Uh, Noise is off at Theatre Royal Haymarket, 28th of September until the 16th of December. Thank you. Thank Great you. Team. Right, coming up.